Hello everybody and welcome to Effie. Now this is a sort of open world puzzle platformer by Inverged Studios and they gave me a key a little while back and a lot of you said that I would probably quite enjoy this game so I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> calm down, calm down. <laughs> Come here. Have a seat. You know what, Effie? I'm going to tell you a story. It is a tale about knights, wicked creatures, hope, redemption, and above all, magic. Magic. Yes. A long time ago, so long ago that I can barely remember, there was a young man called Ganon, who had been gifted with great strength. One day, a girl knocked on his door asking for help, as her cart had broken down in the nearby forest. Ganon, however, was extremely lazy, so he lied to her and told her there was nothing he could do about it. What an absolute no, scoundrel. Now. The young girl, however, was a powerful witch, and she cursed Gallon, <laughs> who instantly turned into an old man. You don't know what you've got until it's gone, right? Gallon didn't know what to do, as he had never witnessed magic before. So he decided to visit the master, who lived at the top of the mountain. Perhaps he could undo the spell. <laughs> Much to his mm, disappointment, Betty though, the master was unable to do it. Mm. However, the master also told him that the elder protectors, ancient ancestors who watched over kind-hearted souls, possessed the power to break the enchantment. Gallen was unsure whether he had a kind heart or not. But what were his options? He traveled relentlessly for days, until he finally reached the temple of the Elder Protectors. There he was. Go on, Gallant. When suddenly, the ground trembled beneath his oh, feet. No. Nature was taking over the very corridor. He had to run for his Evil life. Evil nature. How dare it. <laughs> Roots shot up from the very ground itself, and Galland was forced to take a leap of faith. I cannot get comfy today. And he succeeded. Yay. He could hardly believe his luck, but now he had to just climb up. Oh, no. He had taken a hit and a tumble, but he survived the fall. This was the beginning of his magical adventure. So just so you know, guys, I am using a controller for this. I uh, I do feel the controller is pretty the good. Stones apparently I haven't tried keyboard, though. Gallant. They endowed him with vitality, power, and even wisdom. It was like a taste of youth. So what we'll actually find is that Galen needs to uh, just get these and eventually he'll just get younger. Yay! End of the story. Didn't even need help from the other dudes. Just needed to go on adventures. Okay, we can't smash pots. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. I think I got all the ones in there. Time was not on Galen's side. He had to find the Elder Protectors okay. before it was too late. The temple uh. had to be brimming with secrets, left behind by its old constructors. So it looks like we can uh, go side to side as well here. Mm. 
move up here? I think I could probably jump down from here and get these things and then pop back up. I think I want to get as many of them as possible because I believe they're my EXP. So I don't want to miss any of them if I can help it at all. I'll just do everything on this side first. Yay! So this kind of reminds me a little bit of a couple of different games like maybe Horizons or Dawn, a few things like that. You can just sort of wiggle along the ledges. Oh, there's a chest over there. Can I get that? Can I get that from here? If I'm, if I'm quick. Ha ha, yes I can. I don't think I meant to do that though. I think I think there are gonna be things I'll miss out on. Woohoo! <sighs> Galen felt much better now. Okay, so there's one. I, I do need to go back here, back this way anyway. Oh no, I can't get up there. I'm gonna have to just drop down, I think, and just go the proper way. I believe that's the proper way, just to go this way. But yeah, you have to repeatedly press the B button or whatever button it is. The, the button to the right on on a controller you have to press what oh no uh, 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 you get you get choices there as to whether you want to climb or jump and, and I tried to do both at the same time and that wasn't very good okay here we go there those were the statues of the elder protectors gallant had to reach the That's center it, he's of done the it. Hall. game over <laughs> but how He's found them. We don't need to. We don't need to do any more now. Seven minute game. Awesome. Good stuff. I don't think we can go this way. Over there it looks a little bit wonky too. I think I'm going that way. Okay, let's try. Oh, there's just down there. Get all the chests. They have EXP in them. And secrets. Galen felt an urge within him. Galen felt an urge within him. I don't like it when it goes all wobbly. Our hero tread Makes upon a strange, strange tile on the floor, and it activated a mechanism in the door. Oh no! Never would have guessed. At least it's not like Dwaros, where you have to have three of them on separate, uh, separate rooms of the building, all stood on different things. Oh my goodness! The, some of the puzzles I've done that you haven't seen yet are absolutely insane. There was this one with beans. You'll see it when I come, but it's kind of crazy. Give me all your runes. Give me all their power. I'm trying to find the quickest way to go through and do that, but I think that might be the quickest way. I'm not sure. Oh, and then we have some droppy away gates. Wonderful, just what I need. I get dropped in lava if I'm too slow. I'll wait for that one to drop and come back. Oh no! Oh, Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Look at those dudes. Oh, there's a couple around here, look. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Doo -doo. Now I believe this uh, I've played as a test. I have already played this, and I've played chapter one. Um, so what I'll probably do it seems like it's split into chapters in a very similar way to um, remember the game with the wolf. I've got the name of it now because I have a terrible memory, but uh, it'll come back to me.
It was such a pretty game as well. How could I have forgotten the name of it? God, I'm gonna have to go and look at the name of that now. Man. Lost Ember. See, how could I have forgotten that? But yeah, similar to Lost Ember, it has uh, chapters in it. One day you two will be as bad memory as me, trust me, and it only gets worse. Unless you're some sort of genius. What? There's stuff over there, too. What? Okay, well, we'll try and find all of that. One thing at a time. But anyway, um, yeah, so Lost Ember was in like little chapters and I just kind of tried to do a chapter to an episode. Unless it was really, really like late, some of the later chapters got really long. But, well, no, let me up, let me up, let me up. I'll probably just do a chapter per episode, unless they are particularly long or particularly short. Whoop. Oh, you thought I was going to fall, didn't you? Ha, ha, ha. Whoa, that's a bad place to be. Um, um, I meant to go the other way. Oh, okay, so this all crumbles basically as you jump on it so you want to jump quite quickly but they will come back again so you if you if you're worried about it you know you don't need to worry too much just be quick and you, remember you can have another go if you need it okay, so. yeah one good thing about having a little practice run i'm actually doing better this time man. i don't know what i'm doing for this one you want to go jump and you you, you can't turn the camera you don't have time okay you just have to do a bit of a leap of faith this this, this uh does have a bit of a leap of faith theme this uh, particular thing why are there some torches that are out doesn't seem like i can do much about it though i wonder if that was um oh yeah again it's Warrows, isn't it Whoa! Guaros is making me think, ooh, ooh, um, ooh, tea, yum. No, it's making me think, ooh, uh, torches, I need to light all the torches, but it might not necessarily be the case. Hello. Finally, he had found the Elder Protectors. At last, he would recover his youth. We have been watching you for some time, Gallard. We know why you are here. You want to recover your lost years. And we could give them back to you. Why do I get the feeling you're not gonna? However, we don't know if you have a kind heart. I have a kind heart. Does that so count? So you will have to prove your worth. A great evil has fallen over the Red Plains of Oblana. It's Melira, the witch. She was the one who cursed you. Ah, oh, that darn Melira. Put an end to her evil and return Oblana to its dwellers. In order to do so, you'll need to cleanse the power from the gems of evil. After that, the cities will be free once more. The Elder Protector had been clear. Melira, the Gems of Evil, and all their dark power had to be destroyed. To aid you in your quest, we have created a special shield for you. That's lovely of you. If you have a pure heart, Runestone will accept you, guide you, 
and become a part of you. Now go and enjoy your adventure. Suddenly, everything started trembling again, and the roots reappeared inside the temple. The wicked Malira was attacking the temple. Oh no! But this time, now we Ganon have to. Now we have to fight. To protect him. I'm a lot better at fighting than I was the first time I tried. I mostly use the light attack. The heavy attack it can get a little bit crazy and Hey! Get off me, you Okay, we're done. <laughs> I was not that good the first time. You also have like a shield thing. So that's like left bumper. Um, this is the sort of light attack, which is the left hand of your buttons. And the, the heavy attack is the top most of your buttons. So on my Xbox controller, that's X and Y. Um, other controllers will probably be different, but it always seems to be the same positioning. <clears throat> so now I believe I can get EXPs out of jars. Wonderful. So now I'm like, should I go back and get all the jars that I missed? If I was very, very uh, worried about getting all of the XP I can, then I would, I would do that. But I don't think so. I think uh, that would be a little bit over the top, a little bit too much. So let's go Is it that way. Can I go this way at all? That looks like there is a, a way to get over there, but it looks like it's probably through a few more doors first. Oh no, that's the way I went before. Look, I jumped across there. Okay, cool. And then I went around there and in here. There's a chest at the top there. I have no idea how to get out. Seems like I need to get up the top there. I imagine this is going to take me in and out of this room quite a few times by the looks of how much complexity there is around. Whether I will manage to get Garrett everything. Garrett realized he would need an extra boost. Would his shield be able to help him? Yes. Double jump. No! I maybe need to perfect the double jump there. Gallant knew he had only one option. Attempt a double jump. I think it's the whole thing of collecting things and things being in my way while I do the double jump that sort of distracts me a little there. And those will come back, don't worry. And I just need to stand on that other button on the way back. Let's try and do this without uh, losing my way again. Okay. Wonderful. We got through. Yay! Yeah. I don't think there was any way across or up. Is there, is there a way up to that chest? Am I just not seeing it? Or is it something that will come later? He's sitting on his surfboard thing, on his shield. Alright, I'm gonna go down here and, and see what I can find, but I, I definitely think we need to explore this a lot and try and get all of the cool secrets if we can. I'm not gonna promise you I will get every cool secret, I will be able to find every cool secret, but I'll try my best to at least look and see if there's more to it. Now let's pop down here first and uh, find a, a hidden chest. I like, I like, I like. 
gallon extra EXP for me. So it's going to take me back up to the top. Oh, yep. It's going to take me back up to the top. And I probably just need to go through here. Jump! Quick! He wasn't sure of the reason. But his gut was telling him to take another leap of faith. Now I think I want to go right up to the top. I believe there's a chest up here somewhere that I didn't manage to get last time. So I want to give that a go this time. It was time to fight again. No! Get off me, you horrible, ghosty, demon things. Sprite, the sprites and flowers are much nicer than you guys. Oh no! I was pressing the wrong button. I was pressing B. <laughs> Which does not help at all. I apologize. I've got to do all of this again now. I'll tell you what. I'll jump straight down the bottom and we'll do the fight first. So that I don't have to go and do that again all the jumping again. <clears throat> quickly run around here, get the chest. I don't know why my throat is frog. Well, I ate chocolate, that's my own fault. I ate chocolate and now my throat is frogging and it always happens every time. Let's see if some Pepsi will take it away. Gallon felt much better now. <clears throat> Actually, it's pretty good at doing that. Yeah, it's quite acidic, isn't it, Pepsi? So it kind of, it's, it's like, it's like degreaser for my throat. <laughs> so very foggy. The chocolate will do that. I am, I, I should not have eaten any. I am bad, she left. Let me through. Thank you very much. He wasn't sure of the reason, but his gut was telling him. To take another leap of faith. So we're just gonna like jump straight down here and, and just do that the ambush fight. And An this ambush. time I will press it all the buttons, all the proper buttons. Again. Yeah, all the proper buttons. Agile, these little ghosts. That's why the light attack is better for these guys, I feel. They don't say put. It gives me EXP when I fight them, though, which is pretty cool. Runes will give you back your health, so if you want to pick them up partway through the fight, if you're running a little low on health, then that's a cool thing. So now I've done that ambush, I get a little elevator up here. Look. Take me back up the top. So that's helpful. Uh, this one hasn't opened yet. I think I need to open that later. So this will just take me back to where I was. Kinda. And see, I can go up there, but I'm not gonna this time, because that's that's the actual way I should be going. And we don't want to take the way, the way, the actual way. We want to try and get up. A little bit further and see what things we can find. Right, so here we can just rest. Make it up to these. Oh, I only just made that one. Oh. That does the other elevator. I believe that if I fall down now I can get back up to this stage. And it also opened a door for me. So there's a couple of doors to open that have opened for me. Uh, this one, again, I don't want to really go down. I want to try and keep making my way up and see if I can get all the way to the top. I 
don't know if that one's going to crumble away on me or whether that's going to open something else. Oh, come off it. Oh, man. Oops. Let's get on the lift. This is why they give me lifts to try and like help me out when I mess it all up. They seem quite far away. They're definitely double jump material, aren't they? Ah! Oh! Why am I struggling so much with such a simple jump? I have no idea. This should not be difficult. I'll wait for him to go back in and then come out. So I've got time. I don't feel pressured for time. Oh, oh, really now I'm apparently not even making that one. I was trying to do it at like a better angle to get the next one and then I just missed the first one. So that's no good. But this game teaches you perseverance. All right. Oh, so there's another lift here. Cool. Get all this cool stuff. And then there's three. Where do they even go after that, though? Maybe I can double jump to that ledge over there. I'll give it a go. What's the worst that can happen, Doctor? What's the worst that can happen? Oh, okay. Well, that was all right. Um, but now I'm up here with nowhere to go. Where do I go from here? I feel cheated. I'm all the way up here and there's nowhere to go. Oh, okay, yeah, I know, I can see. Oh! Alan felt an urge within him. Woof, that was a hard one. <laughs> that was a tough chest to get, wasn't it? Wow. So you get a little bit of extra EXP going up here. Okay, I believe last time I just went straight into this room. But there's also the room below that I haven't been into um, either. I saw another chest. There's another chest there. How do we get to that? Ah, <laughs> we double jump off the lift. Aha! Getting all the secret chests at Chila. <sighs> Galen felt much better now. Felt much better now. So I want to go on, I can't remember which lift it is now, whichever lift it was that took me to the first sort of platform. I think it might have been this one. So let's go to this one. We'll see where it takes us. Yeah. And there was a doorway through here that I did not get a chance to properly ex- Oh, hang on, no, this is where we came in. Right, no, we didn't want that one then. All right, so we want the other one, and we want to go the other way. But we got all the all the stuff. In the meantime, we'll go this way, and we'll go through the door up here. So I, I feel like I've done everything I could in this particular area, which I didn't feel the last time I went. I feel like I did a much better job, and I got much more exp. It was a oh trap. no, it's a trap! No! More ghouly ghosty things! <gasps> the purple ones this time! Purple is like the power! Purple power! 
And the, the controller is going crazy because as they, I think they've got some sort of life leech on them or something. My power has increased, leveled up. Oh gosh, get off me, you life leeching little vampire. Oh, okay. It's crazy. Oh right, so it looks like my power has increased. I've leveled I've leveled up once or twice now and look I've got like five bars of health instead of just three. I think I started off with three. So every time I level up, so the more of those chests and things I get, the more health I'm gonna have to deal with all the enemies and stuff. Oh, so we're back in the main chamber now. Okay. I wanna know how to get up the top there. Because I can see a chest, and I can see a chest that I can't get to. And that's very frustrating. Oh, right. Oh, right, so this does get me up the top there. Okay. I see. And these are gonna completely, like, double jump! So now I'm allowed to go up this, like, magical staircase. Lovely. Man, it like respawned all the stuff over there. And now I feel like I need to grab all of that too. Ah. This feels extremely wobbly. Okay. Phew. Now, I believe I can get over here, but I've got to be really careful. Because you can only just do it. Yeah. Now, I'm sure I saw a... It's a bit wobbly here. I'm sure I saw a chest over there. I'm going to wait for this to come back out and run underneath it. I think that's slightly the better way to go. I don't want to get pushed off the edge. That would be certain death. Ah! Ah, no! Oh, no! <sighs> Shinies. I was, like, literally stood there in front of that thing. Luckily, I get to beat this. Um, did I... Are those ones over there still? Oh, no. Now I've got to do that jump again. I could see some shinies, like some, some runestone things. And they were, like over to the side and I was like, ooh, how do I get those? And I was trying to work it out and I was stood right in front of the thing. <laughs> I'm terrible. I think they were put there specifically to make me do that though. You see them over there? I wonder how I get those. Health as we progress through this. I may need it later. Okay, I feel like I'm in a safe space here. Oh, that that. What? What on earth happened there? I got just caught on the very edge of it and it dragged me through. Alright. Well, that one doesn't count, okay? Absolutely does not count. Because it wasn't, that wasn't fair. The game should have told me if it was going to do stuff like that. So we, we don't even want to touch this thing. We don't want to go near it. Whoa. It doesn't seem like you lose much in the way of like EXP or anything. Very careful with these things now. I don't feel it should have done that to me, but you know, sometimes life isn't fair. Oh, 
Now, interestingly, there's a way across this way. There's a way up this way. Now, if you go backwards, and that looks like it might be like a secret way, maybe up to a chest or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the chest that I saw from the, from the ground? I can't even tell. I think it might be. So yeah, I do apologise if there's any chests that I am going to miss or I've missed already or anything like that. I'm trying to find them where I can. But, you know, when things are wobbling underneath me, it gets harder to go looking for chests. But definitely, I think the more thorough you are with this game, the easier it's going to be on you. So if you're really good at fighting, you don't need to be thorough. If you're not, then being thorough helps. Ooh. There's like a funky white chest there. Let's go get that then, shall we? You look like you might be full of special secrets. I love the music when you open a chest, it's so funny. Okay, the temple is falling into disrepair. The visitors from the old days don't come anymore. This can be explained by the emergence of new false gods and the 800 years without demons. The demons are still here, albeit hidden. Oh yeah, you can scroll up and down with your mouse, but I don't know how to do that with your uh, controller. The demons are still here, albeit hidden. When one day we need the help of the Elder Protectors, who will aid us? I can't see any way out, and I'm running out of time. As the last master of the temple, I must fulfill my duty of protecting them. I will travel around the cities. I'll try to build shrines in each one of them. I can do it. I just need some more time. Tales, one out of four. Temple of the Elder Protectors, one out of one. Alright, so there's one super secret in here. Oh gosh, should have gone the other way first. I can still go back the other way though. Let's fight these ghosties and then we'll go back the other way. And you know I'm going to just call them ghosties. We go for the purple ones first because they're life leeches. So you don't want to leave them alive. I don't know what the red ones do. The blue ones seem to be the, the sort of standard guys. Right, okay. I don't think... What? No! I didn't... Hey! I wanted to go back through there. There were secrets that I didn't get. Okay, guys. So, do not open the white chest until you have done all of the secrets. I wonder if that'll open, that'll open again or if that's permanent. If it's permanently closed behind me, it, I didn't know. It's fine. I think it, I don't think it was any chests or anything. I think it was just oh, it sucks though. It really sucks. Look under all the staircases, okay? <sighs> Galen felt much better now. Yeah, because all that stuff it heals you and gives you XP. It's like it's like super simple and you don't have to get lots of different things to put EXPs and, and different stuff like that. And, and and then something for health and then something for stamina. You just you just go and you solve the puzzles. And that's kind of what I like in a game. A little bit of simplicity there. I can't get back up. I have to run all the way back up the stairs. Uh. So as soon as you run into that ghost battle, then you can't go back. I think I got most of the like big chests. The and other stuff protectors in there. were testing Gallant. He had to think fast. No, we're not going to think fast. I'm gonna think slow and uh, get all the EXPs. Hmm, I wonder how I get that EXP. I probably have to run up that slope thing. Galen needed a moment to start thinking straight. No, he doesn't. He needs a moment to get all the EXPs. All the shiny stuff. 
then we'll do the puzzle, okay? Shiny's the first puzzle, second. I know how to do this puzzle anyway, because I did it before. But it's the only one that I know how to do already. Yes, and it's not very difficult. Up. It's like the map, basically. So there's only like a windmill and a brewery and a sawmill and then like end objective, I guess. So those are the, I imagine, the different areas of the game. Or at least the major different areas of the game. I don't know how many areas there are yet because I haven't played it yet. I haven't played past what will be in this episode. Yes, of course, old gallant managed to open the door in his first try. Of course he did. Why would I lie to you? I did it first try on my first go round, so don't worry. It's not like it was a difficult puzzle that one. More experience. Okay, At so that moment, a supernatural force compelled him to lift his shield. Rune sense. If you are using a controller, I imagine it'll tell you whatever button it is on the keyboard. But you're actually depressing the left control stick. So you're actually push, pushing the, 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 the movement stick that wants to move around. Push it down. I don't use that button all he the time. He had succeeded. So. Our hero had managed to escape from the temple. Now the red plains of Obada lay ahead. It's a beautiful land, isn't it? All white and red. So pretty. Oh, look, you can see. You can see the windmill and the brewery on what I imagine is a sawmill back there. Or maybe the final objective. Maybe you can't quite see the sawmill, but you can see the different areas. It was an ambush. Oh no! Malira was summoning Malira. her demonic minions with a devilish cackle. Is it a devious laugh or a devilish cackle? Where are you headed, Grandpa? Whatever those old statues told you, it's a lie. Now you'll find that the end of your adventure is close. <laughs> also, is the narrator in this? Oh, actually, I'll do the fight now, and I'll talk to you. Whoa! We need to get out of here, because it's... Gallant had to do away with Malira's minions, or they would certainly destroy him if given the chance. Stay out of the circles, okay? Running out of health here. I hope this is the last wave. Someone's throwing stuff at me. Get out of my way and throw stuff at me. I don't like it. It seems like as I kill them, I get a bit of my health back as well. So that's kind of cool. Oh no! Over yet. Yeah, it is. Malira had fled, but the floor was still crumbling away. Geronimo. In that moment, time stood still. Gallant needed a miracle. Then he realized perhaps the shield would protect him from the fall just as it did before. Runestone knew what had to be done. It could feel the needs of Gallant. When it on, felt Gallant's feet upon it, it let its magic flow. And we and get to a surf! Gallant had survived the fall and was already surfing the red plains of Oblana. Gallant had heard rumors about this place. It was a cursed region inhabited by the oh. greatest of evils and crawling with an assortment of wicked creatures. Oh. Runestone seemed to speed up when passing Whoa. over the sources of power. I the cannot more he steer. Overflew, the faster he went. I cannot steer to save my life on this thing. Oh no, <laughs> it's so bad. 
Ah! Ah! Okay. An old fortified city that once thrived on the production of corn. Now lay abandoned. And perhaps invaded. Gallant knew to tread carefully. Okay. No surfing! No surfing in here! Oh, there's a rune stone there. Grab it. Put, a, put, a, put, a, put the surfboard away, dude! Come on! There we are. B puts the surfboard away, so we can go and pick up rune stones and things. There's something over there, too, that I can, I can get. You want to get, again, all the EXP you can in this. <laughs> Old Galland had lived his short life in a world without magic. However, even he could feel that the place was enchanted. It reminded him of a novel he had read in his youth with his master. Look at all the shiny. It was about an old knight, just like him, who fought against fierce giants that, in the end, were nothing but windmills. Tales of chivalry, of course. So chapter two, Windmill City. We will be doing that next episode, so I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, then please do leave me a like below if you would like to see more uh airfy then please subscribe and i will let you know when the videos are out i hope to see you next time in the meantime though please look after yourselves and keep being awesome